good morning all right so i've already been on this morning doing a website now i'm over here um so last week i think it was let me see here last week i think it was i removed the drm from a kindle book that i published uh you can see that video in my stream uh so now we're going to format the book um this is a client of mine and he published this book through a vanity publishing uh publisher rather and The vanity publisher won't let him change his pricing or anything. I mean, he's just, it's been a nightmare for him. And I managed to wrangle it from their horrible hands. I saw in their FAQ on their website where uh, they had a question where if you. had already published your book with someone else previously could you still work with them and they were like oh sure um we'll just uh publish the book as a second edition and so i was like well if they can do that then so can we so i grabbed it and that's what we're doing here um in here Wow, what kind of word was that? Okay, so... I'm, I'm gonna make this small. Er. So make it even smaller. Um I really like using Google Documents to format because their styles are so simple. So I can come in here and format using these simple styles I don't have to change it to a hundred billion things and all of this right like um, with word don't get me wrong where I like word just fine and I do use it to format for paperback but I don't find that it's as as uh, easy to use as this for formatting. So I like to go through and do my initial formatting. 
Like, so easy peasy, right? format this like uh, that yeah looks nicer a herd of turtles. So I'm just control enter on the uh, for page breaks. That inserts a page break in Google Documents. And I've set my line spacing to 1.15, fonts just Arial. And we're just going to work through this format. And, there, and another reason that I like working with um, another reason I like working with Google Docs is that uh, it auto saves for you. So. So I'm just going to highlight and we'll go through and I want this to be spaced 1.15 just because it looks better. Alright, and we're going to insert our page break. check now I have this book like I said I bought it and removed the DRM so I have this book in my Kindle we'll just go to the one on PC here just I don't care where you end up <laughs> all right so what we want to look at here is <laughs> I 
Okay, so what I'm seeing is this is basically the name of the chapter. Let's go to chapter two. Yeah, so. What we're going to do here is. This heading one as well. do like they did and we're just going to center this like so and then as we scroll down we're going to see that this is also part of the chapter heading Let's see how they handle this uh, quote. Do they center that as well? Yes, and so we will too. All right, so here we're going to go with our 1.1. Five spacing. Hmm. I am sorry ahead of time. I have been up since three o'clock this morning. That's what happens when you get old. You get insomnia. So I'm a little scattered and just ridiculously not as smart today. <laughs> Ah, for lack of a better way to say it. All right. So I'm seeing they bolded these as well. All right, and they they uh yeah center they're centering these quotes on the other end too so i like to make the quotes uh italicized so that it's called out a little bit from From the rest of the text so I'm just going to go through and we'll bold these headings and this is just going to be my initial run through here I see a lot of you know wall of text type stuff here so Ooh, excuse me I'm so sorry I may very well go back in and, uh, you know, make my own paragraphs and that kind of thing. Let's clock in. We've been sitting here not clocked in this whole time. How ridiculous. All right. So we are formatting. You know, that's one of the caveats of working for yourself is that, you know, you kind of screw yourself over if you forget to clock in. All right, moving along. Assert my page break. Going to make this heading one, and we're going to center it. Get rid of some of this space here. And. 
center this as well and we're gonna put in we're gonna format in our 1.15 line spacing I'm going to bold this and keep going one point one five line spacing bold one point one five line spacing bold Ugh, why do I keep hitting that instead of the other thing? Oh, I'm so tired. Alright. Bold. And our line spacing. Bold. Insert our page break. Rolling along. Center all this stuff. And we're going to create our heading here. Get rid of this extra room. I'm going to make this italicized to call it out further. And we'll bring the quoter up to this line. Yes. All right. And we'll put in our 1.15 line spacing all the way down. No. There we go. And we want to center this quote as well and control enter to insert a page break and we're gonna center make this into Heading, delete the extra space, and we're going to italicize our quote and bring the quoter up to the same line. And here we go. spacing I believe this is a quote I'm gonna center it Control enter to insert a page break. If you're just tuning in, we are formatting books for Kindle using Google Documents. My fave. All right, we're going to center this. We're going to create our heading. And then on this text here,
format line spacing 1.15 and here we have a quote I like to italicize those I'm going to bring my quoter up to this line and we're going to center this whole thing like thing I like about Google Docs is that it uh, saves as you go along it auto saves for you Okay, control enter to insert a page break. I'm gonna bring this up here and then we're gonna center all this, create our heading. Get us some of this extra space. make our quote italics and then I'm gonna go through highlight and we're going to format it a line spacing 1.15 oh, excuse me I am so tired <laughs> going to center this and we'll uh, control enter to insert our page break center all this stuff create our heading Give me that space and then I want to italicize my quote gonna bring our quoter up to this line and let's see that looks like it's gonna be bold what chapter are we even on <laughs> my nose is stuffy today I apologize let me snort in your ear the whole time I'm working on this luckily okay luckily uh Luckily, this is pretty mindless work, so this is actually not a heading, and it's just going to be bold, and it's going to be over there, like so. Um, pretty mindless work, because I'm just, I've been up since 3 a.m., so I'm pretty tired today. Just insomnia. Just no reason at all to be awake. <sighs> so sorry. Alright, so yeah, so these are bolded. -ed -ed. We get this one format line spacing 1.15 same thing here I just did they even edit this at all format line spacing 1.15 bold and we just keep going format line spacing 1.15 we've got a quote here I'm going to slap some italics on that I'm going to center it 
and then here I'm gonna space and bring my quoter up to the same line because that's like that's what I like to do alright control enter for our page break bring this up enter our heading and we're gonna center all this then we'll insert our heading here delete this extra space and I'm going to italicize the quote and I'm using this is the first edition of the book I'm just using it to figure out how to format some of this stuff so these headings are going to be bold we're going to go here format line spacing 1.15 And we're just gonna keep going. We're on forty page forty four fifty eight. So format line spacing one point one five bold. Format line spacing 1.15 bold. Just keep going, keep grinding through it. Format line spacing 1.15. Bold. Keep going. Format line spacing one point one five. Bold. And I can tell you right now, this isn't going to be the end all be all with the formatting on this book. But it will do for the initial. No, format line spacing 1.15. Here's the quote, italicized, I'm gonna bring my quoter up to this line and center it and then control enter for a page break, delete, 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 bring this up to the top and we're going to center that, create our heading, get rid of this extra space, and we're off to the races here. So it's format line spacing 1.15. I'm just using this for reference, yeah, so we're going to have a bold heading in this one as well. Bold. And here we go. Woo, my eyes are slamming shut, y'all. You know what you... You know, you've got to have the, the uh, self-discipline just to keep going even when you're tired. You know, like, if this was a regular job, I wouldn't call in just because I didn't sleep because I need my money right so same deal I'm working for myself I need my money can't really afford to let's 
center I want to center this can't really afford to be uh, I'm gonna go through too as part of the formatting and kind of standardize if it's a quote it either needs to have quotation marks or it doesn't um, not back and forth and all around so yeah I don't think they did any editing at all on this book and he paid out the wazoo for this publishing job I am thoroughly thoroughly unimpressed alright so format line spacing 1.15 yeah so you know if you're working for the man you're not gonna control enter to page break you're not going to you know lay out of work just because you didn't sleep because you need your money same thing it just takes more self-discipline when you work for yourself so all right so i'm just seeing how this is set up here i want to center all this and then here we're going to make our heading remove our extra spaces and then this is going to be bolded and it's going to be aligned to the left. This is going to be italicized and then we're going to bring our quoter up to the same line. Now we're off, going to go through format line spacing 1.15 bold. Format line spacing 1.15. We're almost to the end, friends. All right, so here, I believe we've got a quote. We'll center that. this a heading and go ahead and format line spacing 1.15 and that's the last page so as the final part of this initial format which we'll go back in and definitely work on this again but the final part of this is going to be inserting the table of contents which we'll do on this blank page we made here at the top of everything before we started insert table of contents and I want the blue linked one we don't need page numbers and all that junk for uh, for this so you can see it made an extra blank page which all we have to do is click here delete 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 until our page so shows up everything auto saves and our initial format is done uh, this was a book that I'm working on for a client I purchased the book and then removed the digital rights management you can see that in a previous video uh, and copied and pasted the unformatted text just as plain text from a notepad document text document so what we've done is we've gone in and formatted the text for the first round um, more so the way we want it to be in the book and then we'll go through um, later on Oh, I am so sorry. We'll go through later on and we will format for consistency. For example, some of the quotes here are, have, have quotation marks. Some of them do not. 
some of them have parentheses around the quoter some just have a dash that's all stuff that we're going to make uniform in the document when we go through it additional times so uh, it's coming together well this book is going to be published a second edition uh, on the author's own publishing account it's going to add a little more content to it and he'll be ready to go on this uh, and I'm really happy about that he was working with a publisher out of New York that pretty much would not let him update his pricing or anything so my name is Ava I work full-time as a virtual assistant from home if you'd like to see what that look looks like you can check out my other videos um, that's going to do it for this stream. Thanks for stopping by. I hope you have a great day. And I look forward to seeing you in the next stream.